big PC gaming news. Do you remember DLSS, that technology that Nvidia is always touting that improves your frame rate in games without really affecting the image quality? Well, we've now got a new version and it's better than ever. Is that it? Is that the end of the video? Absolutely friggin' not, because Nvidia has actually launched something that is gonna benefit everybody. Oh no, I've forgotten the name. What's it called again? Surprise, surprise, it's dubbed Nvidia Image Scaler, or NIS for short, which sounds a little bit like something someone would say to you at school. Uh, you've got NIS. No, I don't. My mum checked yesterday. And it is absolutely fascinating because it is worse than DLSS. It is not actually meant to replace this technology. Instead, it's meant to make every game you own better than ever. Unless it has DLSS, then it'll be slightly worse. Let me explain why this is such a massive deal and how it's going to affect you and give you better frame rates no matter what graphics card you have after a quick word from this video sponsor. DDR5 memory is here and Corsair has you covered. Extra bandwidth, sky high speeds and slick new designs make Corsair DDR5 shine with new Intel XMP 3.0 profiles that allow for crazy high overclocks with just a single click. Choose Vengeance for stylish performance without breaking the bank or go all out with Dominator Platinum for insane speeds, stability and jaw dropping RGB effects. Learn more today with that link down below. The news in short then is that NIST has arrived, NVIDIA Image Scaler, and this is a spatial scaler that's very similar to the way AMD's FSR works, which is Fidelity Super Resolution. The way it works is actually pretty straightforward and very easy to understand. Instead of running a game at the full native resolution, you're essentially turning it down a little bit, which increases your frame rates. Obviously this affects the image quality, it's not going to look as good as if it was native, but the clever bit is that you then get this image and you put it through an upscaler with the aim to get as close as possible to the native image so that you're getting all of the benefits of the image quality but then you're also getting extra performance. This space has definitely been heating up a lot in the last year or so. As while well, DLSS has been out for quite a while, it's required one of these, an RTX graphics card. But unless you've been living under a rock for the last few years, you'll know that these things are definitely very much a hot commodity. AMD's counter to this has only really arrived in the last few months with AMD's FSR technology. Unlike Nvidia, it doesn't require any special hardware to work at all. It all runs in real time, the performance games are actually pretty similar, the only caveat is that image quality isn't quite so good because you're relying on a spatial upscaler rather than using the AI cores that are actually baked into one of these cards that will ultimately give you a better end result. And that really is the key strength of DLSS, image quality. As long as you have the hardware, you have more data inputs, it actually runs across multiple frames rather than just one, you get slightly more detailed image, less artifacting, and ultimately a little bit more flexibility as you can tune the AI algorithm to more intelligently know what it is that it's seeing rather than relying on a spatial upscaler that just sees one image at a time. However, this comes with one major downside. What if you don't have an Nvidia card? What if you don't like it? What if the only team green that you're on is the colour of your dog poo bags? The room's gonna stink now. This is the main advantage that AMD has, and it's why Nvidia has actually been pretty worried for the last few months and has been developing their own solution. Because if you're a game developer, why would you put DLSS in your game when, relatively speaking, not that many users can actually access this tool? It takes time to develop these things, and if you've used DLSS in any title over the last few years, you'll know that the implementation's not always been perfect. There's been a lot of tuning to get it to where it is today. Alternatively, you could just put AMD's free FSR technology that's open source in your title, and while it might not be quite as good as DLSS from an image quality point of view, ultimately you're benefiting everybody that plays your game, not just RTX users. So this is where the lovely guys over at Nvidia come in and they're helping out everybody from the kindness of their hearts. It's got absolutely nothing to do with shareholders or making more money. For all intents and purposes, FSR and NIS work in pretty much the same way, with the exception that it's actually baked into the drivers now. So even a game that doesn't natively support it, which is something like Call of Duty here, you could turn this on, you could run it at different levels of resolution, so you get different image quality amounts, different performance gains. This works at a driver level with any supported NVIDIA graphics card, which is any one that the current driver supports, really. Not only does this work across pretty much any title, but the really clever bit is that they're actually giving developers the chance to put this into their game as an option that will appear in the menu. And you might be thinking that a bit of a strange thing to do. I thought you just said this will work in any game. And yes, it will for NVIDIA users, but they're making this open source. 
pretty much any developer can use this. AMD can adopt and optimize, I guess, for this in their drivers. Where the lines start to blur a little bit between very sly but also quite genius is the fact that if you do implement NIS into your game, then it does also give developers the very quick and easy way to also enable DLSS on RTX graphics cards at the same time. So essentially, what NVIDIA is doing is stopping AMD getting all of these FSR supported titles. Obviously, there will always be AMD games and NVIDIA ones, but the ones that are actually in the middle, which is probably most titles that don't have allegiance to Team Green or Team AMD, you're gonna think they're gonna start to look at NIS over FSR, assuming they are pretty much the same when it comes to image quality and ease of implementation, just because I guess it benefits even more people now, rather than FSR, which is everybody, NIS is sort of more than everybody. I feel a little bit torn about this really, because on one hand, this is massive news that benefits pretty much every gamer out there, regardless of whether you're on Team Red, Team Green. Obviously this technology will improve over time. At the moment it's a little bit buggy to be honest with you, but as I say, it's still very early doors. It does also share the same issues that you'll find with FSR. You will get some artifacting, some weird shimmering, and while they do give you a slider to adjust the sharpness, it still isn't as good as DLSS. But this is where it all plays into NVIDIA Nvidia's hands because that is half the point. They've released something that benefits everybody but also shows everybody that DLSS is still a feature that's worth it because it's better. They have quite literally put out an advertisement to increase people's FPS and also show that DLSS is something you should buy as well. So it's marketing genius but I feel a little bit dirty talking about it. Hmm, what can I say so this isn't all pro Nvidia? Intel XCSS is the future, guys. Mic drop. Smash that like button, get yourself subscribed, let me know your thoughts on this down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Vengeance DDR5 has a slick new compact look, and has been designed to get the very best out of Intel's Alder Lake CPUs. Dominator Platinum DDR5, meanwhile, takes it to an entirely new level, with its gorgeous heat spreader finish and vivid RGB lighting that's all powered by Corsair IQ. Level up your memory today with that link down below.